In October of 2022, an ex-employee of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs came under investigation for trying to sell a hat BTS as Young Kook had left behind at the ministry's building. Young Kook wearing the bucket hat from Kangol Twitter the issue broke when fans noticed that a seller had posted a listing on resale websites offering to sell a hat worn by Young Kook for the steep price of 10.0 million KRW, about $7,460 USD. The OP original poster, had explained in the caption that Young Kook had left the hat behind in the waiting area when BTS paid a confidential visit to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to make their passports. He had attached his workplace ID as proof of authenticity as well. But soon, it became a controversy, and netizens started questioning the propriety of a government employee behaving in such a way. OP took down his listings and turned himself in at the Soko police station. The police told the media that they had wrapped up the investigation in November. According to South Korean law, anyone who tries to own a lost item illegally or attempts any misinterpretation of it instead of turning it into the police faces charges. During the investigation, the accused had admitted to the whole thing and was charged with embezzlement of lost articles. By this time, he was reportedly not affiliated with the ministry anymore. According to reports on May 3, prosecutors have summarily indicted him. The Seoul Central District Court fined the former Foreign Service employee 1.00 million KRW, about $746 USD, for trying to sell Jungkook's hat online. Last year, fans had hoped that the seller would face fitting consequences for his petty action. The court's ruling has finally brought closure to the issue.